uh, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, once again, it's good to have you here at the Defense Headquarters, Armed Forces of Nigeria. Uh, just to give an update as to the situation uh, that is ongoing, uh, we're all aware of what happened yesterday. It's uh, the government have actually shown its own commitment by upholding its promise to allow people to associate freely without any rancor. But I'm sure everyone is disappointed with the outcome. Uh, clearly, the security forces have done extremely very well. I'm very happy to mention what the, especially the Nigerian police force, have shown a lot of professionalism, including where uh, members of the armed forces had to step in. But you can see that we have remained very professional in our conduct, and will continue to do that, as long as the citizens also understand that there's a difference between peace and criminality. Uh, what we saw yesterday was, at the beginning, some semblance of a very peaceful uh, demonstration, but which was quickly taken over by a bunch of criminals that don't mean us well. And if you remember, we have warned that there are individuals that are ready to cause mayhem once this starts. And so we want to appeal to Nigerians to understand that the federal government is doing the best it can for the country. The, country, the federal government, the present regime is just there for less than one, years, one year, and it is uh, not possible for them to have solved every financial, economic, security situation within one year. But I'm sure everybody, if we're truthful to ourselves, efforts have been made and have continued to be made. We have seen policies that have been made to address the economic situation on ground, including security situation. Things are improving. We are not where we are, but I can assure you we're heading there. And if we have the support of everyone together, we can bring total peace and the economy will pick up. Uh, just some few days I was in the Niger Delta to also ensure that our production, oil production, increases immediately so that we can have enough funds to fund our economy. Uh, so I want to call on all Nigerians to understand with the government if you have grievances, which I know people have, there are a lot of challenges here and there, and it's not only in Nigeria alone. Everywhere in the world is facing one economic or security crisis or the other. And so it's important to understand that we're not alone. But what we can do is not to allow criminals, individuals that have lost out, to take advantage of this to destroy our country. We should realize that this destruction we're doing, monies have to be used. Monies for development will have to be used to repair this thing so that we can move forward. And so instead of doing that, we should come together, make sure nothing is destroyed. The statement, the message has already been passed to the federal government, the state government, and the local government. The local governments are already in place. Uh, the president has already directed through the Supreme Court for the local governments to have direct funding from the federal government that will also assist. Please, Nigerians should look up to their local governments, their state governors, the federal government is doing its best. Everybody is putting their hands on them. We know we are challenged as a nation, but we know we will overcome, working together as Nigerians. I want to appeal once again for the support of all Nigerians, to the federal government, to the state government, and to the local governments. Let us avoid anything that will bring us, uh, that will bring mayhem within our communities. Uh, yesterday, we have seen the level of destruction that has been carried out just yesterday. And so you can imagine if this continues for so long. The armed forces and the entire military uh, security agencies will not stand by and see that to continue. So want to warn those that are recalcitrant, those that don't want to listen, that will not fold our hands and see our country to be destroyed. We will take action, and the action we'll take, we'll take it professionally. Anyone that is caught will be taken to the courts to be dealt with. Uh, so want to again, I want to thank you for coming, especially members of the media. And again, for the media, I want to also appeal. I noticed throughout yesterday all the stations were hooked up to the occasion. This is not an election thing. Don't give them that coverage for them to feel, because there are some of them are looking for just moments of, you know, being on the screen. Together, I can assure you we are going to win, and we are winning. And at least from today, we have seen the level that it has really gone down. Most state governors that decide to declare a state of emergency have called it off. And working together as Nigerians for Nigeria will succeed. Yeah. And before the final smile is at one point, before okay. the protest, based on our interface with the press conference, I believe a lot of intelligence was gathered and analyzed. Yeah. 
Now I want to know, were the security agents overwhelmed or were they were directed the possible outcome of the protest? Uh, well, you know, the security agencies cannot be everywhere. And you can just make your predictions to such an extent. Uh, the entire area is large. You know, Nigeria with about 200, 900 and almost 1 million square kilometers. It's not going to be easy to secure the entire area. But I think yesterday, the security forces actually stood up to their responsibilities. And that's where you see that it is measured. And that it's important for them to understand that working together as a team is what we require. The security forces cannot do it alone. We need all Nigerians to put hands on uh, together to make sure we succeed. And we stop these criminals from taking advantage. I mean, yesterday we saw some people uh, uh, breaking down houses, going, stealing uh, windows, doors. I mean, it was just crazy yesterday. And we don't want that to happen again. So my name is Sifon I work with TMC News. Okay. Mine is still uh, the line of my colleague uh, asked earlier. Going back before this incident actually happened, the cause of gathering intelligence and warning Nigerians yeah. this was going to happen. I would like to know what did the security agencies and the, the office of the CDS do to, to prevent criminals from having a new day, which we saw being displayed. But you see, that is the challenge of when you are dealing with non-state actors. You cannot, it has to do with the human mind. Nobody can predict the human mind. Efforts were made before now. We have held several meetings. The uh, Office of National Security uh, uh, Advisor had interfaced with almost all the uh, stakeholders in this aspect on the need for us to maintain peace. And most of them have agreed that there was going to be peace. But then, like I said, you cannot read the minds of people. There are a bunch of people who believe that it is only through this medium that they will be able to loot, steal, and destroy. And that's what they tried to do yesterday. But we have arrested most of them that have actually been able to uh, break into places to steal, and they will be prosecuted accordingly. So my name is Lord Kisaro. Yes. I work for Channel's television. Okay, Lord. This is the two of the protests. Yes. So the protesters continue. Will you be ordering or asking the military to give support? No, no, like I said, we are supporting the police all through, but we are just on standby. The police is doing a good job. They are handling the situation for now. And unless if it breaks beyond what they can handle, then the military will step in. And the military is on standby, and we are watching day and night. So, good afternoon, sir. Yes. My name is Mark Lai, yes, I'm a great So, my question is closely tied to you. I'm sure you must have noticed that uh, Abuja has suddenly gone quiet. Yeah. People are afraid for their lives, and we have Monday coming up. Mm. Uh, can we guarantee the safety of people who have businesses or you know, civil servants coming into town on Monday for their normal activities? I can assure you that has been done. We're taking steps on that. We are going also behind to ensure that we also identify all those ones that are involved. There are individuals that are actually sponsoring them, pushing them to do these things. We're going after them. But the truth I can tell Nigerians is that everybody should be calm. Everybody should be open-minded in what's going on. Give us information as quickly as possible. I want to ap appreciate those that have been doing that. And that has greatly assisted us in doing what we're doing. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now, in the area of information, some of us were on the streets yesterday. Yeah. And in as much as we, we appreciated the restraint by security agencies, there were some places where we covered we can clearly say that those who are not protests, yeah. those who are miscreants on this Definitely. Now, how can Nigerians call, uh, this thing, reach out to the military in case they are in such areas and they want to collaborate with security agencies to alert security agencies that your presence is needed at so so and so place? Yeah, thank you very much. I, I'm sure you have the uh, phone number. Every, mo every week we have uh, uh, dialogue with the media. Uh, during our briefing. So you have direct link with our media organizations. You have their contacts. If there's anything, let us know. We're going to make some, uh, all after this, we're going to make some phone numbers at, uh, open to the public. Once you see anything, please don't hesitate to report immediately. It's very important. Good afternoon. Yes. Okay. So um, I'm not going to know the authenticity of this letter that I'm saying, but there's a letter that says that uh, due to the activities of criminals, which happened, there's a lot of that happened yesterday. That there may be another coming up October 1st. How would you react? Well, I think those are just uh, speculators. Uh, there are some individuals, like I said, there are some people who just want some moments of fame, and that's what they are trying to do, just to cycle up and make sure that there is uh, there's general fear within the pub, uh, within the public. 
please, Nigerians should disregard that. We are making every effort to ensure that everywhere is secured. I can show you that. Yes. Rise news, and um, in some quarters yesterday, there were some allegations that um, security operatives well used live uh, cartridges on civilians, and perhaps that that, that must have uh, spurred the riots in some places. I think, I think, that, I think you guys were all on screen all the time before. So such, such a thing that happened. Uh, I've seen some injuries, and we are investigating to find out actually what happened. But I know that a lot, lot of restraint was really exercised yesterday. A lot of tear gas, non-lethal aspects were happening. I've seen a lot of people that were injured. Some were mentioned, but we're investigating that to see entirely what happened. Like I said, when situations like this happen, some people take advantage of them, doing one thing or the other to make it look as if it is security agencies that are doing that. But we're taking measures on that. That I can show you. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. So thank you very much.